Are you leaving? Well, then take this with you. I've mixed more of this last special drink for you. <sighs> the past shouldn't be forgotten. So I hope it brings back the flavors of Panacone. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure it'll leave a lasting impression. <laughs> if you happen to run into Gallagher, make sure he has a sip too. I know his tastes, and he'll be thrilled. Then, I guess you won't be seeing him. All right, enough with the heavy stuff. You guys have important things to take care of, so let's not dwell on things. Whether it's the Astral Express or Panacone, there's still a long journey ahead. So let's lift our spirits, guys, and embark towards our tomorrows. <sighs> Old Oti is a tricky opponent. I didn't expect him to take the risky step of going public at such a critical moment for Panacone. Indeed. He's definitely bold. It's that kind of boldness that made him the Odi Alfalfa he is today. Still, the outcome is uncertain. Shouting loud doesn't necessarily carry any weight. What about the phone call I asked you to make, Topaz? Ah, they agreed. But it'll take some time before they arrive. Just as it should be. The sweet dew should be served after the bitter poison. <laughs> Looks like we'll be skipping the exchanging apples step this time around. <laughs> now that we're dealing with a greedy merchant, a simple apple wouldn't make a difference. Well, I guess I included myself in that remark too. Now I'm a bit curious, Topaz. Do you think Panacone is a quality asset? Hmm. Yes. Despite its recent calamity, Panacone remains a top quality asset within the cosmos. With, uh, good credit, lucrative potential, and, uh, promising prospects. Well, that's obvious. But what I truly wanted to know is... This project is obviously too bland for your taste, isn't it? <laughs> that's true. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Aventurine. But despite that, you trust him. You even entrusted him with a cornerstone. Something as precious as life itself to finish this gamble. Uh, are you not in the same boat, Miss Jade? Without us playing along, your Jade Stone wouldn't have made it across the border so easily, allowing you to see all desires that flow through dreams to gain a bargaining chip in negotiations. And that's why I'm willing to stake my topaz stone to cover for you. <laughs> it's like one big elaborate game of chess. Once that kid sets his mind to something, nothing can stop him. Not even fate. <laughs> well, at least he's still alive. And that's the best outcome. <laughs> Looks like uh, we've strayed off topic, Miss Jade. Should we discuss our next steps? No need. I'll go it alone. Meanwhile, you can go greet our honored guest and wait for my message. Okay. Is that Robin? Huh. She's also here on the Radiant Felt's Bar. Greetings, Miss Robin. I didn't expect to meet you here. Miss Jade? Greetings. The opening ceremony for the Charmony Festival has been moved to the Radiant Feldspar, so I'm here making some preparations. How about you? Have you spoken with Mr. Alfalfa? I'm actually on my way to meet him right now. Do you know him well, Miss Robin? Unfortunately, I've never met him. I've only heard a few comments from the former head of the Oak family. Mr. Alfalfa is respectable when it comes to business, but in other respects, I can't say the same. Hmm. Where do you think the future of the planet of festivities is headed? I believe the sweet dream will see its rebirth. Just like the Radiant Feldspar resumed its voyage, the Harmony needs a new direction. Only by bidding farewell to the past can we actually sail into the future. There are no permanent allies or everlasting enemies. 
So let's both take what we need from this deal. Naturally. I'm looking forward to your performance. See you at the festival. See you later, Miss Jade. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Alfalfa. Let's continue our discussion. <laughs> Figured out something already, Miss Jade? Hmm. But where is Miss Topaz? Topaz has something else to take care of. You'll be seeing her later. Talks can still continue between the two of us. Is it just me, Miss? Uh, your tone sounds very different now. I need to set a good example for my junior. It's not a good habit to be too loose-lipped during negotiations, right? Now we can speak frankly and openly. Do you believe what I said, Odi? You're not the only merchant who has seen the changes in the cosmic market over the past ten Amber Eras. Interesting. <laughs> now that's interesting. Good. It's good to be straightforward. Openness and transparency are my things. So, tell me, what's your next move? Unfortunately, I'd like to speak the harsh truth before laying out my plan. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. First, your plan won't work. Penacony has no way of sidestepping the IPC and going public. Second, you can't stop the IPC from entering Penacony. We've got all the time and connections in the world to find a way in. We'll keep tearing down and rebuilding this place until the Asdana system gets used to the IPC's ways again. Now, I'm repeating your words exactly. If you don't want to be a laughingstock and have everyone gunning for you at the official conference, you'd better drop your little pie-in-the-sky plan. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Indeed. You surely have a way with words. Now, I'm curious to know what you have up your sleeve. Mr. Alfalfa, let's not forget that the IPC controls the biggest interstellar publicity platform. More than half the news networks in the universe take their orders from us. The moment news spreads about Penacony going public, trillions of customers will immediately receive a message like this. The family's protection for Penacony has expired. Any mishaps in the dreamscape could result in permanent brain death. Care to guess how many ways we have to turn alfalfa credits into worthless junk within a measly 24 system hours? <laughs> With the entire cosmos keeping a close eye on Penacony, I assure you, it won't be too hard. You really think you can pull that off? Even from Pier Point, as distant as it may be, I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. However, if you agree to give up that half-baked plan to go public, the IPC will assure you that we'll never jeopardize the interests of the family heads under your leadership. After all, we also need allies here in Asdana. The IPC can assist Penacony with financing, starting by acquiring 30% equity shares. With our financial support, stabilizing and rebuilding Penacony will be a piece of cake. 30% equity, you say? Who can guarantee you won't want more in the future? <laughs> That's the brilliant part of it all. The answer is simple. No one. There are no guarantees. It all hinges on self-awareness and mutual respect. However, the board of directors will consider the interests of the family heads to some extent. You're a smart merchant, old Odie. Isn't the whole purpose of this elaborate game to showcase your business acumen and seek more benefits for the family? It benefits us if we both take a step back. And if that's not enough for you, I'm pretty sure that another goal of making Penacony go public is to expand the influence of the Planet of Festivities and attract more customers. I understand your concern. 
And I have a solution for that, too. Fine. Now I see your sincerity. As the head of the Alfalfa family, I don't think I have any reason to refuse your offer. However, as their chosen one, I still need one final answer. Go ahead. I'm listening. When I was a child, I heard the adults recite the tale of the ancient Amberera. About the ascension of Shipe, the Harmony, and the downfall of Enna, the Order. The Order and the Preservation used to be close in ancient times. So, why does the IPC, as a follower of the Amber Lord, seek collaboration with the family instead of aligning with the Order? The answer is simpler than you think. It's all about credits. Everyone's favorite thing and the universally recognized currency among the stars. The IPC has the power to perpetually ensure their value. With each new world integrated into the credit system, the IPC adds another building block to its cause. Eventually, all exchanges, capital, and businesses will operate within a unified monetary system. By then, all planetary developments will be recorded in accounts with well-defined values and the ability for exchange and circulation. And the heart of everything will be Klopoth's credit. Ah, and then the IPC will be able to exert influence over everything. Our intention is to establish enduring preservation, so I'm sure you can understand. This universe doesn't need two types of order. Hmm. <laughs> well said. Now you've convinced me. All right. Tell me your solution. Let's see if we're thinking the same thing. Then let's continue our conversation. Please, Topaz, invite Sweet Dew to join us at the table. Thank you for your presence, Miss Himeko. Please allow me to introduce her to you, Mr. Alfalfa. This is Miss Himeko from the Astral Express, one of the future shareholders of Penacony. I've heard so much about you, Mr. Alfalfa. It's an honor to meet you as representative of the Astral Express. <laughs> this stunning lady is the navigator of the Astral Express? It's a pleasure to meet you. I believe everyone here is familiar with the general contents of the proposal. After this round of financing, the IPC is expected to hold 30% of Penacony's shares. Then, the IPC will transfer 5% of that stake to the Astral Express and recommend Miss Himeko as an independent director to honor the sacrifices and contributions made by the former Nameless to the Land of the Dreams. While this decision isn't finalized yet, we are honored that everyone here recognizes the way of the Trailblaze. While the Nameless didn't embark on their journeys for fame or fortune, if this is the wish of both the family and the IPC, I will represent the Astral Express and fulfill my duty as a member of the Board of Directors. The entire crew has agreed to assist in the reconstruction of Penacony. Beyond that, in our future travels, we are committed to bringing the beautiful dreams of the Planet of Festivities to more worlds. Of course, all cooperation is based on one premise. The path of harmony in Penacony must not be distorted again. And such a tragedy must never recur. is an agreement, so the issue is settled, I presume. What about the remaining family heads? They will soon realize the situation. When old Odie answered the last question, he represented more than just the Alfalfa family. 
When should we schedule the formal negotiations? I'll handle the arrangements. It's all up to you. I'll step back and let you handle the negotiations and take over. I won't be involved. Uh, but Miss Jade, this is... Aventurine initiated this case, and you were his project partner. If that kid hadn't overplayed his hand, I wouldn't have been pushed to the forefront. I came here today to help you sort out the toughest issue. I trust you'll be able to wrap things up quite nicely, little Yelena. Of course, there won't be any problems. And please, give Diamond my assurance. Don't worry. Diamond has always trusted us. I'll put in a good word for you, and you'll have your P-45 position back in no time. Radiant Feldspar. <laughs> what a fantastic ship. Well, now that my business is done, it's time for me to indulge in my own little hobby. Ah, you want to open a Bon and Jade Exchange branch on this ship too? Opportunities like this don't come around often. Just look at the guests on this ship. They're surely holding a wealth of valuable treasures. Well, <laughs> I'll take my leave. A pawn shop can't run without a boss. See you around, Topaz. I have one more question for you, Miss Jade. Hmm? Go ahead. That dose of bitter poison. I'm curious as to how you found this information. I didn't find the information. It came to me. It was from... A lady concerned with the future of the Harmony. In return, I've agreed to help her with something. But that's for later. We can deal with it after we leave Penacone. You see, that's what investment is all about. The seeds of opportunity are already sown. They only need a little bit of nourishment to take root. And then after, all we need to do is wait patiently. Like right now, for example. It's just about time my final guest boarded the ship. Sneaking in was way easier than I thought. The family's security is as lax as ever. So, this is the Radiant Feldspar. <laughs> so luxurious. A pawn shop that grants wishes. Is there really a place like that on the ship? I'll find out for myself if the rumors are true or not. Just completely... One more thing. Mr. Alfalfa and I discussed it. I'll present a gift to the Astral Express on behalf of the family as a token of gratitude for the Nameless's contributions to Penacony. Please help me with the necessary arrangements. Right away, Miss Robin. Can I ask you something? Oh, greetings, Miss. Is there anything I can help you with? Do you know how to get to the pawn shop? Pawn shop? Ah. You must be talking about Lady Bonajade's place, right? I heard she offers uh, special services there. I've marked the pawn shop's location on your device. Please feel free to check it out. Lady Bonajade. I think I've heard that name somewhere before. What happened? Was it from Silverwolf? Come to think of it, she disappeared after mentioning that she was going to meet with the Genius Society. I wonder how things turned out for her. Welcome 
to Bonnet Jade Exchange, Radiant Feldspar Branch. How should I address you, dear lady? Just call me Samuel. Samuel. Nice name. So what do you need, Miss Samuel? And what are you willing to give up in return? I want to keep on living. And for that, I'm willing to give up everything I have. Everything you have? That's right. Everything. Miss Samuel, I think you'd best turn around. It seems you're not quite familiar with the term pawn. What do you mean? I mean it literally. I sense your burning desire to live, but unfortunately, you don't have anything of equal value to offer. <laughs> okay. A pawn shop that grants wishes. <laughs> I see. It's just a marketing gimmick. Well, that's quite a harsh accusation. I understand you may not fully comprehend what I mean, but don't worry. I'll help you understand. Go and talk to these people. They're all customers of my pawn shop. See for yourself if their wishes have come true. Once you've done that, come back to me. I'll help you understand the true meaning of pawn and make you realize what you're missing. That Lady Bonajade feels more like a money lender rather than the owner of a pawn shop. Well, I've got nothing better to do anyway. I'll do as she says and see what happens. <laughs> you stupid little girl. Coming back to lose more money, huh? Ugh, enough talk. Let's get started. This will be our final game. I'm betting my entire fortune. Oh, a big talker, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see what you've got. times in a row. How could I possibly lose to you at such a crucial moment? It's true. Lady Bonna Jade has truly blessed me. <laughs> Finally, my luck has turned for the better. Great new era for Stacy, the master gambler has arrived. You, Dorothy. Check this out. Whoa! What a beautiful necklace. Is it made of cymothane? It's stunning. How did you know I love jewelry made of cymothane? It has the same purple hue as the necklace my dad gave my mom. I've never told anyone about it. How did you find out, Del? So. So. Well. Will you go out with me? <laughs> I... I will. R really? I mean... Really? I never said yes before because I thought you had no idea what I liked. But this gift made me realize you were actually paying attention all along. Trying to learn everything about me. So yes. I will. W wonderful. My... My wish has actually come true! So, shall we go, Dorothy? Let's go outside and enjoy the stunning views of the 12 hours. 
Yeah, let's go. <gasps> hey, did you see that? The gray-haired one outside. <laughs> Don't look around, just focus on your drink. Seriously, they look like a total lunatic. Is that... him? Yeah, you heard right. I've got him. He's been hiding at the moment of Sol and Pinnacone, using a fake identity. And he even poses as a professor at Paperfold Academy. I've made a deal with the family. I'll leave the extradition-related paperwork to you. How'd I find him? Well, let's just say I had some help from an influential figure. Don't ask for the details. 22 years. Yeah. 22 years of chasing this guy all over the cosmos. You know, never thought it'd end up like this. Right here. Um, I'm gonna hang up for now, partner. I need to raise a glass to myself. All of their wishes actually did come true. <laughs> but... I just don't understand. How did she do it? And what does Pawn really mean? I should go back and ask. Watch yourself. So you're back, Miss Samuel. Yeah. I found those people. And it seems their wishes did come true after visiting the Bonajade Exchange. But I'm not sure what you want me to see. They all seem to be living... fulfilled lives. Not so fast. This step was just to show you that the Bonajade Exchange is genuine. That I had the power to grant their wishes. And now, I'll tell you the price they paid. Del was from a wealthy family. He was head over heels for Dorothy and wanted to win her heart. So he made a deal with me. He put up his entire fortune in exchange for a gift that would impress Dorothy. It was a piece of cake for me, thanks to my IPC connections. However, Del will soon find himself evicted from the dreamscape because he can't afford his room. Whether he can bounce back from poverty, well, that depends on him. Let's just hope that necklace will keep the relationship from crumbling. Then there's Stacy, a lady with a gambling addiction. She wanted some serious luck, but she had nothing to offer. So I took something else instead. I took away all her close relationships. From the moment she stepped out of the Bonajade Exchange, every casino in the cosmos would remember her name. But her parents and siblings would sever ties with her. And it would be impossible for Stacy to make any real friends again. She will accrue a vast wealth due to her good luck, but she'll never be able to use it for the people who truly matter to her. As for Detective Walker, he spent two decades chasing down a wanted criminal for some heinous crime. But he never caught the guy. In his desperation, he came to me. He offered his own memory system as collateral. In due time, his memories as a detective will be erased, and he will completely forget his own identity and all the sacrifices he has made. Interesting, don't you think? I fulfill people's desires and grant them favors, and soon they come back to me with even greater desires. When people see others' desires get fulfilled, they develop their own desires. It seems like an endless cycle, but it does have a goal. In the end, I will get what I desire from this whirlpool. And patience happens to be one of my greatest strengths. So now, do you understand what you must give up, Miss Samuel? Or should I address you as... AR-26710, a remnant of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. Hm. I'm not surprised. 
You are much calmer than I expected. <sighs> Entropy loss syndrome. Truly an unjust misfortune, isn't it? The higher-ups in Glamoth implemented such a failsafe within the genes of their warriors. <sighs> Just to make sure the Republic's most powerful weapons wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. As for the price, those Iron Cavalries weren't exactly seen as regular, independent humans, so there wasn't really a price to be paid. However, you are different. You're now a Stellaron Hunter, a living being named Firefly. Naturally, you want to continue your existence, but with the Firmament Front gone, the people who know the secret and can cure the disease are nowhere to be found. Are you suggesting that the IPC has a remedy? Well, there might be a silver lining. That's all I can say for now. I see. It's no wonder you said I can't provide anything of equal value. Because nothing I own holds any meaning. So... You're going to ask me to personally restrain my partners to ensure my own survival? Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. Partners. A nice way to put it. Now I'm even more curious about the Stellaron Hunters. Each of you has your own identity and a special bond with each other. It's strong and intimate, and yet it allows for independence. Just as the Ten Stonehearts follow Diamond, you follow your own leader. I wonder what they are like, and if all Stellaron Hunters are like you. Traveling on the path of finality, but struggling against your destiny. Attempting to move in the opposite direction. I really hope that one day, all of you will come and visit my pawn shop. I'll be waiting patiently for that day. Can I see this as an invitation? From Diamond to the Stellaron Hunters while keeping the IPC in the dark? Consider it more of a personal offer from myself. It doesn't represent the IPC or the Strategic Investment Department. The Stellaron Hunters have interacted with the IPC, but not the Ten Stonehearts. Our paths have never crossed. As for your offer, I can pass it along to my partners. But I have a question. You know who I am. And you must know that my partner is keeping an eye on this room. If she wanted to, she could let the entirety of Pierpoint know about it within a few mere seconds. What drives you to take such a risk and extend this invitation on behalf of Diamond? Even if it could lead to your downfall. Simply put, you and I are the same. However, unlike you Stellaron Hunters or the Astral Express, we band together merely to obtain what we want. Each of us has our own past and destined ends, and on this journey, we have been invited by Diamond to join him. This journey could be either brief or long, as each of us carries a void in our hearts that can only be filled from the outside. So, Diamond made us a promise to divide the power of the Emanator of Preservation into ten pieces and give each of us a cornerstone to fill that void. Mortal flesh is fragile, yet my heart is unyielding like the monolith. For without this resolve, the way of preservation would fade into oblivion. So, you understand? This pledge goes beyond a mere oath. It's our collateral in exchange for opportunities, wealth, survival, and a future. And whatever we gain from it will fortify the Stonehearts in return, allowing us to achieve the great cause of the preservation when the war among the eons eventually comes. <laughs> I understand. Take your time, child. You don't need to give me an immediate answer. Like I said, patience is one of my greatest strengths. If fate turns that page, our paths will cross again. 
It's a shame, though, that this pawn shop can't give me what I desire. My last attempt in Penacony. <laughs> well, it ends with hope. Lady Bonajade? I've come to deliver the collaterals promised. It turns out, the meeting to decide the future of Penacony went much smoother than expected. With little debate. Oh, the Charmony Festival's opening ceremony is starting soon. I should head down and take a look. This airship has quite a few treasures. A bountiful harvest.